evening and welcome to our 9 p.m. English news brought to you live by RTD. My name is Anna Abdullah Farah. Djibouti, Morocco, the Minister of Health continue to solidify cooperation between the two countries. United Nations Horn of Africa, more investment needed to the end of drought. Now the national news. Continue his official visit to the Kingdom of Morocco, the Minister of Health, Dr. Chama Elmi Okie, and his delegation visited the Santo Hospital University Sina in Rabat, where they were warmly received by the Professor Abdul Kader Ouragani, director of the Hospital University Sina. In the course of the wrong table, the Minister of Health has held Consider the responsibility of the hospital center and their and family commitment to the common project of the training between the hospital University Sina and the hospital General Peltier. For the director of the hospital Peltier, Mr. Hussein Mohammed Hussein, this training project come at the time conductive will uh, contribute enormously to the vocation of the general hospital Peltier to become a university hospital center in the near future. Finally, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jamal Elim Okie, went to the Agency of Morocco to the International Corporation AMCI to meet with the Director General, Mr. Mohammed uh, Makkal, as a result of the maintenance highly enriched the AMCI has granted 50 scholarships for the specialization of Djiboutian doctor. In the margin of working visit of the Minister of Health in the Kingdom of Morocco, the delegation of Djibouti, forming part of the technical community, has made several visits to exploration in the training center in order to identify the different channels of training in accordance with the need of the health system of Djibouti. In fact, this technical community is responsible for the implementation of the program of the framework agreement that have been approved and concluded between the Department of Djibouti Health and the Kingdom of Morocco. In the same vein, technical community also traveled to the National Public Health School in Rabat to discuss and finalize the procedure of the training plan for the academy year 2017-2018 in favor of health professional. Ahmed Mohamed Aramis, the delegation minister responsible for decentralization, received today in his office the director of the NGO Ar Rahma Al Dulgani Al Qureshi, who came to pay him a courtesy visit. On this occasion, the minister welcomed Mr. Abdul Ghani Al Qurashi, assuring him that he was fully available to intensify cooperation between the two institutes. Minister Aramis subsequently presented the mission of his department while highlighting the transversion of the mission of his ministerial success, therefore depend on a frank collaboration of the sectoral department and non-governmental institutions. 
still on the national news, uh, General of the Army Body Sankari Sheikh Ibrahim, head of his State Major General of the Army, accompanied by a high level delegation of two major State of the Army General Tahir Mohammed Ali Chief of the State Major of the Defense of Colonel Abdurrahman Aden, Commander of the Marine, and Lieutenant Colonel Wahib Musa Khalili. Command of the Army of the Chibutian Air have visited the American warship USS, American warship who crossed off the territorial water. The American Coast participated in this visit. General uh, Purcell, Deputy Commander of the CTFHOA, the Colonel John Tully, American military attaché, the commander of this naval group, have not failed to express during a briefing on the boat their acknowledgement to the Republic of Djibouti and more particularly the commandment of the Djibouti Army Force, uh, General of the Army Body, General Sankari Sheikh Ibrahim, head of the general staff of the army, has encouraged and supported the officer responsible, American of this fled in the completion of their mission. District 6 Community Management Council, in close collaboration with the National Union of Djibouti Women and the UNICEF, organized yesterday afternoon an awareness raising a ceremony on the right of the child. The aim of this awareness raising campaign is to make young people aware of their rights. The right of the child, which is a brand of human right. It should be remembered that every child has the right to go to school and to have access to knowledge that will help him prepare for his adult life and must be able to care for it if he seek sufficient food, uh, protected of drug and living conditions that are not dangerous to their health. This ceremony brought together several women, young and old, from the neighborhood sick. The ceremony was chaired by the coordinator of the community management community in the neighborhood six, and she said that it is important to respect all the rights that the children. The same activity took place in Balbala. The UNFD delegation moved to the sensitive population of this neighborhood on the right of the child. This ceremony is initiated to show young people the right, the right of the child, which is born of human right. The ceremony saw the participation of several women and community and young people from Balbala 9. The ceremony was chaired by the coordinator of the community management committee who said that this kind of awareness raising is organized regularly to improve the right of the child. The coordinator of the community traced all the activity relating to the protection of the right of the child organized by the community and indicated that it is essential to respect the right. The participants reacted to the usefulness of this workshop to promote the human right, especially the right of the education. And now let us move on the regional news. Uh, the United Nations urging for more investment in long-term projects to protect people in developing countries from drought, following by a visit by the head of the UN agency to Ethiopia, where 9.5 million people need to be assisted. More detail with Said Mohammed. The United Nations is urging for more investment in long-term projects to protect people in developing countries from droughts following a visit by the heads of UN agencies to Ethiopia where 9.5 million people are in need of food assistance. Ethiopia, Somali region where rain have failed for the third consecutive year is experiencing emergency levels of hunger one level below famine in a five-point scale used by food agencies. About two million animals have died here since the end of last year, crippling, herding communities according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. The World Food Program is helping to ease the pressure on victims of the droughts in the Horn of Africa. A strong aid response almost halved the number of Ethiopians needing food aid to 5.6 million 
people by January, but the drought was followed by poor spring rain in the south and east of the country. 25 years old Fatuma Mukhtar Sheikh Abdel Nasser has been badly affected by the drought. She says she has lost pretty much everything. According to the UN, close to 17 million people across the Horn of Africa need humanitarian aid due to drought, including 2.6 million in Kenya and 3.2 million in Somalia. More from the continent now in Nigeria. Now a three days dust to dawn curfew has been imposed in southeast Nigeria due to the mountain tension between the pro Biafra support and the military. More detail, please watch this video. A group campaigning for the cessation of a part of southeastern Nigeria, formerly known as Biafra, on Tuesday accused the army of laying siege to the leader's home, a charge the armed force denied. Rising tensions prompted the governor of Biafra State, where the leader's residence is located, to impose a curfew. Members of the indigenous people of Biafra group said soldiers had surrounded the home of leader Namdi Kanu. Group have stepped up call for secession since Kanu was released on bail in April after being detained for nearly two years on charge of criminal conspiracy and belonging to an illegal society. There was no surrounding at Namdi Kanu residence. It is not true, said Army spokesman Sani Usman. Secessionist sentiments has simmered in the region since the Biafra separation rebellion typed in Africa's most populous country into a civil war in 1967 to 1970 that killed an estimated one million people. The military presence in southeastern Nigeria has increased in the last few weeks in crackdown on crime. Amnesty International in 2016 accused Nigeria's security force of killing at least 150 Biafra separatists at peaceful rally. The police and military denied the allegations. That's all for this evening news. Thank you for watching us and have a wonderful evening.